Hey there, viewers of the unknown distant future, and welcome back to Sly 3. Now, it's actually a little weird doing it this way, because for those who do not know, usually, I'll record, edit, and upload my videos all within the same day to YouTube, or maybe one or two days after. I rarely ever have footage on my computer for long periods of time, and yet, here we are in a situation where it is currently July 5th. If you look at your calendar right now, more than likely it is far past that date. Now, the reason for this is I currently don't have the internet. Hopefully I've explained this to you guys already, if not, then I'm going to be very disappointed on myself, but... Yeah, I don't have the internet right now, so what that means is that usually what I like to do is upload a video, then read the comments that you guys have to say in case there's any requests or suggestions, and then take those into the next set of videos. So unless I somehow develop the ability, the ability to read minds and comments in the distant future, I can't really do that. So, yeah. Now what I would like to do, hopefully, and I really hope this is the case, I'll be able to finish this game entirely by the time I upload it to YouTube. But with that, I'm also going to do something a little bit different. Usually what I do is I record about two hours of footage, you know, an entire chapter, and then upload that all at once to YouTube. Since I'm recording way in advance right now, what I'm going to do instead is record maybe an hour of footage a day, and then upload that. That way, there's something to look forward to each day when I start uploading. So half a chapter today, half a chapter tomorrow, the beginning of the next chapter the next day, etc., etc., until the game finishes. Hopefully... I can actually stick to that. But let's get into the game, because this is not a historical document or an archive. This is Sly 3. And what I'm also hoping and praying that we are done with the friggin' hazard room, because I'm sick and tired of that place. It is just tedium and redundancy, teaching us stuff we've already learned. So unless it... And, and here's the thing, I actually think we've finished the hazard room, because we've gotten Bentley, Murray, and Sly, we've learned all we can from those guys, so unless the game decides to force us to learn how to use abilities after we buy them, I don't really see much use more for the hazard room. But anyways, time for Flight of Fancy. Yeah, start the episode. Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. <laughs> really? How much you want to bet she's a G-I-R-L, a guy in real life? Anyway, Sly Cooper and the gang in! Flight of Fancy. I'm finally getting my dogfight. The dogfight I didn't get in Slide 2. Okay. 
Somewhere in Holland, I cannot pronounce that worth a damn. Don't expect me to. Now, for a second there, I thought we were going to have the penthouse for a hideout. That would have been nice. Now, in the la between the last set of videos and now, what I actually did was a little bit of off-screen grinding, and I managed to pick up about 3,000 monies. So, time to buy some new abilities. Definitely the paraglide, we need that. Rocket boots, why not? Actually, that was a little bit expensive, maybe I shouldn't have bought that. Crap. Um, anything for Bentley? Anything... Alarm clock, no, I hate that ability. Health extractor, no. Make enemies attack each other. Now, that one might be useful. Alright, we'll buy that one. Terrify your foes, no. Throne enemies explode on impact. Well, we have the money. I think I'll pass for now. I don't want to scare enemies with uh, Murray. I want to fight him. That's what Murray's all about. He doesn't run. He doesn't make enemies run. Hand-to-hand -hand combat all the time. Knockout dive. Combat dodge. Um, why have money if I'm not going to spend it? But I think I want to save some of it in case there's another ability later on I might want. Because these right here aren't really that appealing. Spin attack level 2. Alright, we'll buy that one. It's cheap. We'll save the rest of our money, though. See, just because he has a license doesn't mean he can actually fly. I don't trust him in the pilot's seat. If we're going to succeed in this year's Aces competition, we all need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret, and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane, and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Sounds like fun. Thank God I bought the parachute. I'm definitely gonna need it. Oh, I can't escape my costume. Oh, I wanted to jump around. Oh, I, at least I can jump around, but I can't attack. Now, who exact? Where is Dimitri, anyways? They didn't really say where he was, just in this direction. Down here, perhaps. Huh. I mean, yeah, they faced this direction, but they didn't really say exactly where. And the uh, little thing doesn't really tell you either. There's no mar uh, no marker. Okay. That's a moose. That ain't Dimitri. Oh, there he is. Who knew Dimitri was an alcoholic? Dimitri? Funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. Dig, don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. That true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Well, I did save you after all. Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. 
Threaten violence, yeah, that's gonna work on a disco guy. Use logical argument, like he wouldn't understand it, or threaten to expose him. That's probably the right choice, but I did have a request a while back to do the wrong answers just to get the, uh, just to find out what exactly their responses are, so we'll do square triangle, then circle. Listen, pal, we both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. True that, raccoon. In the mano a mano, you win. But look around, you soft sock. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start the fight in hotel, and disqualification will be yours. <laughs> you want that, Jack? Well, I mean, I could always disguise myself as one of the other people. That could work, too. We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on an electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is pinched. <laughs> All right, time for the right answer. Oh wait, that, they gave us a completely different answer this time. Maybe I should compliment him, make him feel good. That might work. Swear to keep it all a secret. He probably wouldn't trust me, or promise to protect him. Actually, any one of those could work. No, the promise to protect him probably won't, so let's do that one. If you talk, me and the gang will protect you. We're all in this together. You can count on us. You know our reputation. The Black Baron is a big wheel. He'll roll all over us. Too many men he commands. We can't stop them. Too many to count. Compliment him. That See, he is an egotistical guy, so that could work. Compliment his disco skills, his dancing, such and such. Swear to keep it all a secret. Um... No, he's not really that naive. I doubt that one's gonna work, so we're gonna try it. You talk, and the secret stays between us. I am a thief, after all. Keeping things quiet is what I do best. Trust a band of thieves? Do I look chumpy to you? Your promises will be cold comfort when I'm pushing up the daisies with concrete overshoes. Eh. I'm surprised that that one other one did work, though. I was See, what I want to do is show each one of the three options. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. Le fashion? Style? You, you're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk of flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time! I uh, better get some guns. This guy is a real nut job. I'm not sure I want to owe him. Eh, why not? I could agree to the favor, refuse, or offer him a bribe. The bribe could work. Well, let's see if, what happens if I refuse. No dice. I'm not in the habit of racking up debts, and I don't plan on starting now. No dice, no debt, no aces flight lineup. The choice is yours. Take debt and take flight roster, otherwise take away nothing. Now what is the other wrong answer? Let's see. Agree to the favor probably would be the right answer, or offer him a bribe. I don't know if- see, a bribe would almost be the same thing, because he'd be taking- he'd still be getting something about it, over it. Um, let's offer him a bribe. Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need gang of thieves, not federal reserve. Okay, good, I got the wrong one. Okay, Dimitri, hook me up with the flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find Flight Roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. Huh? Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. Better get the crackers done. I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Oh, damn. Now, we all know 
that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hijinks. <laughs> like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes. <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions. This will be a fair competition. Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles, eh? <laughs> I think I'd rather have that guy in my team as opposed to Penelope Pitstop. They don't lock the front door to the hotel. This isn't a jail. But you heard the Baron. What's outside? Things will get dangerous. Not really that dangerous. I mean, he's just gonna beat me within an inch of my life. It could be worse. He could disqualify me. Priorities, I do not have them straight. Wait, which one's the front door? That's blocked, that's blocked. And I think that one's blocked, too. Yep. So the front door has got to be through here. I actually like those art challenges. So long as I'm good at them. Which I actually have been in the last few attempts. And I highly doubt that my disguise is really going to help me this time. Careful, partner. The Baron's got plenty of guards on duty. And it's a long way up to his castle on the hill. Or do they got anything I can pickpocket? Because I am kind of greedy. Oh, no, no, careful. Oh, he's got something I want. But it's too many spotlights, I can't get to him. Or can I? Jeez, I am greedy. I have no reason to be trying this. I got the money. Eh, silver medal. Oh my god, enemy. Actually, I could have ducked through there, couldn't I have? Hey, I got my parachute. I missed this thing. Oh no, enemy. Oh, good news, it's not an instant death. Oh, that's a nice attack. He spins around my head. Almost like uh, Infamous. Because Infamous has got a uh, bit of a combo attack like that, too. No, oh, enemy. Turn around. Thank you very much. What the hell is that, anyways? Is that a rabbit? Yes, I am such a sneaky thief. I won't be able to get inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, oh. pal, but you're the best climber we got. I can't grab onto that, really? I guess not. Almost, though. I guess I gotta go the other way. I'm just looking forward to the dogfight more than anything else. And for those who actually mentioned this and sent me comments before, yes, I do remember the death threats. They weren't really death threats, real death threats, but still. I do remember the threats to uh, do the little cheat code. There is a mission starts tomorrow. Where are all my guards? Sleep? Watching TV? Bother paying them at all if they're going to lounge about like common tourists. Well, maybe they're enjoying the sights. What's wrong with that? But yeah, I know about the cheat code when you're in the plane, but I don't really plan on using it that soon. Reason being, I don't know what all the cheat code entails. Wait a minute. No, I'm gonna grab onto that. Why can't I grab onto the pipe up there? See, I don't trust that right there, that's a thing. 
Okay, good. Wasn't sure if that was gonna, like, drop me down or not. There we go, now I'm up here. Going. I tell you, Christoph, the Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Oh, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job training. Our pilots are in tip-top condition. The best lot without question, truly. I'm not just saying this, truly. This is going to be our finest victory ever. Yes, yes, tomorrow we'll witness some legendary dogfighting. Uh, provided the other teams don't sabotage each other. When will they learn? Never. By George, I swear. Chip, chip, cheerio. Actually, no! Oh my god. Ugh. I hate when that happens. I don't even know if that was a British accent. I know mine wasn't. No, damn it. I saw that coming. Where are they gonna put me back? I didn't get enough swing on that. Try this again. No, careful, Sly. The thing is out of control. The antenna's gonna break. And now there's enemies down there that might spot me. See, I don't trust him either. I don't know if he can see through the window or not. Come on. There we go. Yeah, some of these times the grabbing mechanic isn't that accurate. Sly! Hey, Sly! Sly, are you out there? Nope, sorry. Just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. I bet you could. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Okay, seriously, what was the point of Sly leaving right there? He could have done the job himself. But with the Bentley Super Jump, he could probably make that. A trebuchet is a little bit more fun, though. Oh my god. Okay, trebuchet is a lot more fun. I'm trying to remember the other abilities that Bentley has. Didn't he have the glide ability, or am I just thinking of slide 2 right now? I'm probably thinking of slide 2. I don't think I've bought that ability yet for him. Open sesame. Just opens for anyone. Good to know they're safety conscious. If Dimitri's intel is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. <laughs> I don't trust the floor. It just screams electricity. Attention! Attention, cast of staff! We've got a big, big, big day tomorrow in the first round of the Aces competition, just 12 hours away. You've all done a superlative job preparing for the event, and this year promises to be the best dogfighting action we've ever seen. However, cannot stress enough that I must win. You've all been hired to help me achieve victory. If, in fact, the unthinkable happens and Team Black Baron loses, I'm going to dismiss the lot of you and start clean with a new staff. Am I making myself clear? Leave nothing to chance. No outsider is to enter the castle. No one is to go near our planes. If we lose, if I lose, I'm going to take it out on all of you. Anyhow, have a pleasant evening and... Let's have fun tomorrow. What? Okay, so we didn't really seem that bad of a ba uh, that bad of a guy. He's just a sore loser. That's about it. But when you're the best of the best, you kind of have that ego. So I don't really blame him. I still would like him in my party. All right, so look for codes. Let's see. I thought I saw. Actually, that might be a glitch right there. There is a bit of blue in that crack. Just like there's a little bit of blue right there. 
I know I'm not the only one seeing it. Being distracted by the blue. I'm not looking for the numbers. Let's see. More blue right there. Okay, enough of that. Look for the numbers. Huh. Oh, there we go. Two, two, three. See, I may not be perfect when it comes to these art things, but I do, for the most part, catch them for too long. That's Give me another one. Try the other. No. Yeah, I kind of figured that would probably be a fake, anyways, considering how close it is to the door. But yeah, I actually like these art things. It tests my ob observation skills. No, oh my god, I'm actually kind of lucky that thing missed me. This one will probably be a fake too, with that one over there being the real one. But let's do it anyways. Well, this one doesn't have any blue glitches. Well, out in the night sky. I wonder if that counts as a five. Five, actually, it does. 510. Huge 5, clearly out there. Oh, really? I'm actually fairly surprised that was a real one.